So this video picks up with the application of law of sines and cosines. So I'll look through some word problems here. Uh, I'm going to set up the equations, uh, then pause the video and finish them so we don't make the videos too long. And uh, if you do have questions, again, uh, you know you can certainly ask me. So uh, combine regions. And these type of questions will have two triangles, so you need to pick out the information from each triangle that you have and decide whether to apply the law of sine to law of cosine, and in many cases, both. So determine the perimeter of this quadrilateral, EFGH, and show in the diagram. So a reminder, a quadrilateral is a four-sided figure, and you name it by its vertices or corners. So you have E, F. G, H, this four-sided figure, and we want the perimeter. So the perimeter is the distance that goes around an object, and we have two sides at four. So we don't know EF, and we don't know FH. Sometimes students find it helpful if they draw the triangle separately first. So E, F, H, and we can have 71.6, 54, and this is the side we don't know. And we do have an angle, 50 degrees. Well, you've got side, angle, side information. So you have a side, this one, and the angle in between and another side. So when you have S, A, S, that's going to give you log cosine. So to set up log cosine, it's the side we're trying to find. We're going to square it. So the EF squared. And then you square and add the other two sides. So 71.6 squared plus 54 squared. Subtract 2 times 71.6 times 54, and cosine of the angle, and the angle has to be between the two sides that are given. All right. So I'm going to pause it. When you come back, I'll have it solved there, and uh, let's see hopefully that you're able to get the same answers as me. All right, so we worked out our answer here to 55 decimal four centimeters. Our measurements gave more than one decimal place, so that's why we rounded it to one decimal place for our answer. Now to concentrate on our second triangle, F, G, H. So we'll draw that one separately. We have a 65 degree angle here. This is 54 centimeters. This one is 71 degrees here. And here is 73 decimal five centimeters. So we don't have, well, uh, we do have side angle side here and we need to find the missing side. So options, you could use the law of cosine again and that would help you find your missing side. All right, uh, but I'm going to see if we can apply the law of signs. Because the law of signs, most people find, works a little faster. And for the law of sign, you need to have angle side pairs. And we have one pair here, side and angle. And then we would have a pair here. So when you have a pair that you know, you can apply the law of sides. So law of sides in this case is sine 71. So it's the angle we know, sine of 71 degrees over the side across from it. It's equal to sine of 65 over, well, the unknown side, FH. I just want to be clear that if you want to go ahead and use the law of cosine, you could here, 
but I just chose not to. I find this method a little faster. So I'll pause the video. All right, so working down through law of signs. So we'll work at uh, each step here going down through. Uh, just remember here to cross multiply and every number is over one. So you do one times 0 0.9063, that's on one side. FG times your decimal here. Then to solve for FG, you divide by uh, the decimal that you had there. So it's going on between FG and 0 0.01286. They're being multiplied. So in order to isolate FG, side FG, you, divide, you do the opposite. So instead of multiplying, you divide. And you have to do it to both sides. That's what equal signs means. That what you do to one side, you do to the other. So you should get an answer of 70 decimal five centimeters. So the perimeter is adding up all the sides. So we now have EF and FG. So 55.4 plus 70.5 plus 71.6 plus 73.5. And you should get a perimeter of 271. Okay, moving on now to another question. Find the size of angle theta. So we size up the information you have here. So we'll first focus in on theta. Now you have a pair, you have an angle and a side. So right now that sets it up that maybe we can use the law of sides. So we have missing angle, and if only we knew this side here. Uh, let me just highlight it. If we knew this side here, we could use our law of sides. Mm, well, this is where we're going to need to drop down to our first triangle on this side and see if we can't get that information. So I'm trying to set up law of sines. So we're trying to set this up, sine of 80. over 25 is equal to sine of theta over, and we need this missing side. Well, let's see if we can get it from here. We have side, angle, side. So when you have side, angle, side information, we can use law of cosine to get our missing side. So just so we have a name for it, let's just call the missing side x. So we're going to need to use the log cosine. So I want you to set up log cosine, find this missing side, and then we're going to put that into this equation, that measurement, and solve for theta. So first step now, find length this side here using law of cosine. All right, so we worked down through here and we found that the missing side was 22.1. Now we haven't said centimeters or inches because units were not given on the uh, measurements here. Then we applied our law of sine. So it's sine of theta over the opposite side, which was 22.1. That's the whole purpose for finding it. So working down through, uh, we have worked out to one times sine theta. So you get sine theta here and Cross multiplying here, we end up with decimal 8705. Per I want to remind people of is using the inverse sine. So to find the angle, it's inverse sine and your decimal value. The angle came at 60 decimal five or 60 degrees. So the trick out of these questions is you're going to need usually use one triangle to help you find your original question.